hi um so a few days ago I decided that I was going to have a uh, Halloween slash Day of the Dead giveaway and I announced that um, my very very wonderful husband had gone to Mexico to run an errand and he brought me back these I don't know where to look at me at the camera at me at the camera anyway he brought me back these um, very cool sugar skulls which oh here it is looks like this anyway so I have two of them well I was thinking I wanted um, something else to pair it with but I didn't know what so I was thinking and thinking and thinking yesterday and I fell asleep with this thought in my mind which I think is why I dreamt the following thing so in my dream um, I'm at this huge mansion and I am talking to uh, Mary Shelley and um, you know I'm just there mingling looking around um, that what's her name the Bronte chick is there Charlotte Bronte is there and I see William Shakespeare over there in the corner and he's drinking with this guy and I ask who that is and they're telling me it's F. Scott, F. Scott Fitzgerald and I have no idea if F. Scott Fitzgerald was a redhead but this guy had like strawberry blonde hair I guess he looked like a redhead to me anyway so then um there's this rumor going around that Dante's in the house, right? And I'm like, I want to see what Dante looks like. So I'm looking around, looking around, can't find, can't find him. Um, so then there's this other guy, and he's in, that catches my eye because he's like over there somewhere across the room, and he's giving me this look. And I'm thinking, who the hell is that? Well, anyway, this guy walks up to me, and he says, "Hello, I'm Edgar Allan Poe." And I'm like, well, okay, hi, Edgar Allan Poe, nice to meet you. And he says, would you like a tour of the mansion? And I say, okay. So there we go, and we're touring the mansion, and he takes me up the stairs, and the stairs are this beautiful, beautiful dark walnut color, and um, the wall is like this satiny bronze wallpaper, and I remember a lot of details um, for my dreams, and this is just the way I dream. And there's um, paintings on the wall, and I don't know who they are, but there's landscapes and there's paintings of people. And then um, Edgar Allan Poe is like, hey, over here. And he's at the, at the top of the stairs, so I run to the top and I'm like, okay, here I am. Keep showing me, and he's like, there's the whatever, and this is something else, and the study, and this, and we get to the end of the hall. And he opens these huge chamber doors and um, it's a bedroom. And there is this beautiful bed and I'm looking at it and it's a canopy bed. And I'm thinking, wow, that's the most beautiful Henry VIII canopy bed I've ever seen. And these are the type of things that I think when I'm dreaming. And I don't, I don't know how I know that that was a Henry VIII canopy bed. Anyway, but it was, trust me, because I, looked it up this morning anyway so then um I'm looking around the room and I see you know red velvet curtains and everything's very lavish and these old antique brass uh lamps and you know with all this scroll work and and it's just beautiful so then I turn around and I see Edgar Allan Poe has changed and he's wearing this red satin um what do you call that thing that they uh robe oh god so he's wearing this robe but it, but it kind of it's kind of like loose hanging i don't know how to describe it and he just has like a belt on it but the sleeves are like super long it's a robe i don't know anyway so then he he's looking at me and I'm thinking, what is he doing? And, you know, he walks closer to me and I'm like, whoa. And he tries to seduce me and I'm like, oh, 
hold on, Edgar Allan Poe. I'm married, and you are old. I think you're dead. I'm not sure about that because it's a dream, but I think you're dead. And is your head flat? This is when I notice that his head is flat. Flat like flat. He looks like a fish. And so I'm looking at him, trying to figure out why his head is flat and how I didn't notice that before. And he says, what does any of that matter? Would you like some bread? And then I wake up. You're probably wondering what type of coffee I drink, aren't you? I'm not going to tell you. So anyway, um, that dream made me think of something that pairs very well with the sugar skulls, and that is pan de muerto. Pan de muerto literally translates into bread of the dead. It's not made out of dead people because that would be gross, but it is really good and it's a Mexican tradition. And so they give it as an offering, put it on the altar because they have like, they have the dead altars and they're very colorful. And um, this is one of the things that they put on there or th that the family shares that day. And I made some today, um, but I made a miniature version and they look like this. Ooh. Well, I called my local, one of my local bakeries, and they said that they would have them in stock, well, actually to order, um, sometime next week. So because of liabilities <laughs> concerning your health, I am not going to bake these for you. I will, however, order them. Um, because of course you're better off ordering from a store than eating them from what I ever, ever I made. I mean, what if you're allergic to nuts and um, I accidentally touched a nut that day? That sounds odd. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Pretend I didn't say that. So anyway, um, two lucky winners will each receive a sugar skull and a pan de muerto. Now, the thing is, since these are perishable items, well, more the bread than the sugar skull, um, I'm going to have to limit this giveaway to the US only. Yeah, so I'm real sorry, international people, readers, fans. I love you, but I don't want you to get any moldy bread in the mail. And also, the sugar skull is sugar. And there is a possibility that it might melt. And also it's fragile, so you might get it in pieces. And um, so I'm going to have to mail this priority or next day um, only to people in the US. And there is a possibility that this might break a little bit, but I'm going to try to pack it as best as I can. And I promise you won't get moldy bread, US people. I promise. And um, so, if you like this giveaway, um, I encourage you to enter and tell your friends about it. And um, if you tell them about my books, I won't get mad either. Anyway, um, thank you for stopping by. And this was just way too long to, you know, write out as a post. So I decided to do it as a video. And uh, thanks for stopping by and see you later. Good luck.